Hello again and welcome to a complete denture journey. Once again, this is for the New York City College of Technology, Department of Restorative Dentistry, Complete Dentures 1 course. This is instructional video number four of the set and it's on the custom tray impression appointment. This is a clinical instructional video. To begin, the custom trays have been fabricated and sent to the clinician for the custom tray appointment. First thing a clinician does is fit and evaluate the custom trays intraorally. Once the fit of the custom tray has been confirmed, we now move to adhesive application. Even with mechanical retention, it is good practice to use tray adhesive. We want to make sure that the impression material sticks to the impression tray during the impression taking process. If impression material were to pull away from the tray during the retrieval process, it could result in a distorted impression. While we're on the topic of impression materials, let's discuss two common final impression materials, VPS and PE. VPS is vinyl polysiloxane and PE is polyether. VPS are hydrophobic, they tend to be economic while still accurate. Polyethers are hydrophilic, expensive, but more accurate. Polyethers tend to be more accurate since they are hydrophilic, meaning that they do well under wet conditions, especially with patients that have excess saliva or possibly blood during a preparation before final impression. Once the custom tray is filled with final impression material, the doctor will then insert the custom tray into the proper arch and apply light pressure, ensuring that the tray is fully seated. An accurate final impression for an edentulous patient should include border molding. Border molding is the shaping of an impression material by the manipulation or action of tissues, as shown in the video. The process of border molding aids in achieving the proper border length of the complete denture. Without border molding, the borders of the impression might be overextended, therefore the denture borders will be overextended. Overextended borders of a final denture can cause many things, one being extended chair time during the insertion visit. Two could be the insertion of the denture following multiple adjustments and sores within the patient's mouth. So border molding is very important. Another clinical tip is saliva management, especially when using a VPS type of material. Make the patient as comfortable as possible with use of a saliva ejector to get rid of any excess saliva. It should be noted how the handle position of the tray facilitates the removal of the impression and how the custom tray handle is just as important as the rest of the custom tray. The results of a custom tray appointment are as follows. The custom tray should show tissue stops which prove that the impression tray have been held off the tissues exactly one millimeter providing uniform impression thickness which results in an accurate impression. We have also made sure that all anatomical landmarks necessary to fabricate a complete final denture have been captured. A clinical tip. Plan for the next visit. The use of a papillometer aids in the more accurately designating of the length of the maxillary occlusal rim. This tool can aid in avoiding average measurements and a lot of adjusting of the occlusion rims during chair time. We'll talk more about this in our next video.